Hi, this is Chris from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from Political Voices Network. You know what my favorite thing about that quote, though, that, that yes. clip you played of Trump? <laughs> is he's actually mashing in the E. Jean Carroll trial yeah. uh -huh. right. with, with January 6th with Nikki Haley. Yeah. It, it's incredible. It's incre it really is like, you know, I, this is a sad story, but I'll, I'll tell it oh, anyway. Okay. When my grandfather was dying... Oh. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't Happy mean. Monday. Yeah. Uh, he went through a period of dementia where he started to relive events from his life. Okay. And it was very, very weird, kind of cool, but it would be like, oh, now he's here. He's beca He became unstuck in time. And he just started going from event to event. And Did he also run against Barack like Obama? That. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Oh, boy. Um, yeah. You and by the way, thank you for your Eric Bowler thing on this Monday. Just did, the headlines. Former President Trump appears to confuse Pat Nikki Haley. And you said unless there's a chance he was really saying Nikki Haley should have asked for help defending the Capitol on January 6th. He didn't appear to do anything. He did it. He did confuse them and refuses to correct himself. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just I, I think this is I hope the beginning route of the media's, you know, the scales falling where I get it. The clicks and the ratings but you can't keep trying to, like, I feel like they keep trying to clean up his obvious dementia and stumbles and just, look at him. He's a sweaty, yeah. demented mess. And it's just, the, the, these, you know, headlines are just, oh, you know. And he's out there just ranting for 90 minutes, two hours, and, and you know, go interview some of the people as they're leaving early. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What made them We're leave? bored. What? I mean, they're still going to vote for him, but, you know, what happened? Well, I got bored. You know, yeah. I got school tomorrow, whatever. I got to bring the kids to school tomorrow. It's it, it is. It's just bizarre. And it is increasingly bizarre. And it's increasingly yeah. frantic. It's, it's I mean, Rude, I, I don't know what how you're feeling. this. I'm just feeling increasing. Maybe I shouldn't because, again, I always want us to, you know, I know Rachel Bittacoffer said that, too. She wants us always to be scared, <laughs> always to run, you know, as if we're behind because it it is terrifying even the vague prospect that he could get back in office. But I do feel like they're going to themselves. I mean, it's just because you're right. He's going to win huge right tomorrow in New Hampshire. Like they're stuck with him. And I think he's going to get convicted. I think he's a disaster in the general. I mean, he may not, not even make it on some ballots. So that's the part where then does he quit? Because he, he's going to lose anyway. If he knows he's not going to be on some ballot. What is he? I, I don't know. I don't know what they do. You know, this whole thing has made me I, I have I have actually started like in the middle of the night, woken up thinking, what's going to happen here? What what right. happens to the country? What happens? Because there's no way he's leaving gently from this. Yeah. There is no way that yeah. he is going to go out in a dignified way. Right. It's going to be screaming, ranting, demanding. Right. Well, that's what I mean. Or does he go a oh, hoax, you know, rigged? It's going right. to be rigged. So I, I'm going to, oh, you know, or. <laughs> Already he's right. saying that. It's, I mean, I'm surprised he didn't say that there was something wrong with the Iowa caucus because he only won by 30 points and not the 50 that some polls right. had him at. Right. Yeah. It's like breaking up with a narcissist. They yeah. never oh, go God. quietly. No, that's what I said that yeah. to someone at the meet and greet in San Francisco. I said, he's like our crazy ex yeah. that just won't stop stalking us. Yeah. That we can't, like, oh my God, oh, when no, is no. this and, long and national nightmare going to be over? Oh yeah, and he'll keep texting you for money. I mean, there's no way that he's going to stop holla that. Holla back, holla back. <laughs> it's our PSA we play. Okay. Um, yeah, you just, uh, you said no one hates America more than Trump and the MAGA Cretans, the piece you wrote. Brilliant, as usual, Rude. You said, believe it or not, the election of 2020 up to and through Election Day was pretty much a triumph of the American electoral system at all levels. At the height of a global pandemic with hospitals overwhelmed, with corpses being kept in trailers, with supply chains... Uh, we had a, held a presidential election, and that mother was uh, run amazingly well. You said the combination of early voting, mail-in ballots, along with Election Day voting, uh, worked. It should have been one of the great civic celebrations in U.S. history. We should have been patting ourselves on the back for coming through voting at the highest rate since 1900. We should have been beaming with pride at how awesome this country can be when it wants to be, but we were not allowed that pride. We were not allowed that celebration. Instead, we were treated to an entire movement led by the damn president of the United States uh, beating that triumph to death and still is <laughs> yeah i mean yeah yeah it, it enrages me every time i think about that i'm like it, it, we should have been like holy cow we really did that we did that it was incredible you know it's it's amazing to pull off elections in the it, with the stupid array of election laws in this country any year but yeah. to do it in the middle of a pandemic and for it to go so incredibly well yeah is it's a miracle and and you know it 
any candidate, any candidate that uh, that 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 was part of that would have been running on that, would have been saying, hey, in the middle of the pandemic, I was president and the election went great. I know I lost, but hey, now I'm running again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I it's what you said. I keep saying that. I just feel like this is the anything can happen year. Like, I just have no clue. This is going to be a wild ride, I think, no matter what. I think the Mickey Mouse Club I, I had anything can happen fire. day. That's <laughs> I, I, and as always with with most elections. I don't think there's going to be any clarity until after Labor Day. Yeah, and, you know. By that's the way, my friend start. who comes from a right wing area was saying, "Do you know how much like a lot of these Republicans love Disney? Like that was such a stupid fight. Like his it was such a stupid campaign, right? Like he really was trying to just be Trump light. Like no, I can be as mean and you know <laughs> racist and homophobic and petty, right? but it just you know they didn't want Trump light." Yeah, and think about how he has screwed, DeSantis has screwed over Florida. Yeah. You know, how many of those laws would never have come up? Oh my up? God, housing, you know, insurance. It, he doesn't done anything on any issue that affects any Floridian. But the, we wouldn't have the don't say gay bill. We wouldn't right. have all of those things if he hadn't been running for president trying to out Trump Trump. And, yeah. you know, so I, no, nothing but, you know, but just disgust at this a-hole for doing everything that he did and then and then to go out with an announcement on twitter you know when when his campaign started with a disastrous yeah. announcement on twitter yeah you know where where they couldn't keep where twitter wasn't able to in, in one of their spaces their live their live places they couldn't just... keep up with the number of people that wanted to tune in and it kept collapsing and they it was just you know it was it bubble was... effing to yeah doom it was the, the schlep car of campaigns it was just <laughs> yeah. from the beginning just, yeah. oh my god um, but yeah. he thought he was Wonderbug. That's the thing. <laughs> yes. I, I love Jeff on Twitter. DeSantis' campaign was the sum total of the combined clunker campaigns of Scott Walker, Tim Pawlenty, Jeb Bush, Fred Thompson, and Phil Graham, multiplied by 10, stuffed into a bag of a sack of dog turds, lit on fire on the porches of the delusional gentry voters and chattering class. I mean, it, and that's in the end. He just he ran out of money. People are like, okay, <laughs> not putting any yeah, more money yeah. into this, you know, <laughs> S show. And now... Uh, and it's like it's like they try. It's like all right, we gave it our best shot to try to you know stop the Trump train this time, but looks like we're all getting on again. Yeah, I know, I know. It just it really is like the lemmings. You're just like all right. Well, I guess they're just gonna follow him. Bye bye. Um, I guess we don't have a choice here. And, yeah. And you know, I I keep saying that until Republicans that are anti-Trump start endorsing Biden, I don't give a crap what they have to say until yeah. they say they are voting for biden you should vote for biden yeah. to stop trump then um and by the way then all of their anti-trumpism yeah. doesn't matter yeah and by the way you know DeSantis was a media creation so was nikki haley like they just it, it, it's and i love ron tweeted a uh, long gma segment this morning on new hampshire primary all horse race stuff poll results age of candidates not one word about trump's sweaty addled incoherent speech where he confused haley with pelosi with several other gaffes media is failing us miserably what a joke i mean we are gonna have to do this ourselves right i mean and I, and, yeah. I, and I don't understand why every single thing that the media says about trump doesn't start with rapist right thank you it, it, it absolutely confounds me yeah. that 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 this is not that, that nikki haley wouldn't be out there saying he's a rapist do you want a rapist to be your nominee i mean that's a compelling argument right yeah. there that they are completely leaving out and it and I just don't get it. It's like and, and like they're not going to you know lose enough women to row rage. You've got you know uh, Nikki Haley and Elise Stefanik defending a rapist, right? I mean yeah. you know Elise Stefanik was asked about the ra they, they, they they oh no I don't I mean now they're the I don't believe her party, <laughs> right? That she's right. a horror party. I don't believe her. I don't believe a jury. I don't believe a judge. I only believe Donald Trump. And 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 again, uh, you know what you know what you know what something that just pisses me off in Trump's testimony that that is ne that he says all the time about One how thing. he was in Bergdorf Goodman yeah. and you know how could I do anything there it's a big store you know and I and I've said this before it's just one of those points I just want to keep making I have been in Bergdorf Goodman in the middle of the week and it is dead it is empty yeah and you know the idea that this store is crowded all the time but how could I do anything no that's not the way it is Factually, it's not the way it is, right. and it's just every time he talks, he makes up he makes up yeah. something. Oh, by and, the way, he defamed her again this weekend. Uh -huh. So that I oh, yeah. mean, I'm not even sure there's a ticker oh, yeah, tape yeah. that can I'm run. I'm sure up he's the already amount. done it again this morning on Truth Toilet. You yeah. know, I'm sure he's yeah. already 
Yeah. It, it, it's well, ins- and I hope and, that they crush him. With, yeah. And also this decision. pathetic party acting as his defense counsel, basically. Right. Uh, you know, uh, we talked to Glenn Kirshner uh, Saturday night, Rude, about this, you know, bull investigation of Bonnie Willis, which he said is, in fact, bull. Um, and you tweeted about it. Uh, the special prosecutor hired by uh, Fulton County D.A. to pursue the criminal case against Trump bought tickets for her to accompany him on two, at least two out of state trips. Blah, blah, blah. You said, man, wait till they hear about the judge whose wife is involved in a bunch of cases he's asked to make decisions on. And that's bad, not bad enough. Sometimes people with business before the court pay for his vacations and other stuff. And get this, he won't recuse himself. I bet the people upset about Willis are going to get really angry at that judge. I mean, it just, we're so used to their stupid hypocrisy and double standards, right? Yeah. I mean, there's yeah. no I- indication she did anything wrong, you know? Yeah. I, yeah. Go ahead. The, the, you know... Right. It, 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 don't make this case unless it, it, you're just trying to present, make people doubt the decision. That's all this is. Every time Trump does these kinds of things or any of the defendants that are that are aligned with him, it is to make people lose faith in the criminal justice system. Mm-hmm. That's what this is all about. It is undermining the criminal justice system. So, again, the only person that can be right is Trump. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess we should be glad, I guess, that this party is so delusional that they just, they're, they're so unmoral. I was saying they're so, in, in the beginning, uh, Rude, that they're so tribal, but they're just so unmoored from any kind of actual facts that, that I, I, you know, I, I guess we should just applaud their continued ignorance, right? Yeah, but they're also ignorant with guns. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the thing. That's but also, the part again, that's scary. we keep talking about, you know, he had, what was it, like half the turnout they got, he had last time and half the, that vote, right, in, in Iowa. So speaking of the media, like, oh, Trump is, you know, it's it just, it, and now I know, as Frangela said Saturday night, they're like, oh, New Hampshire, a smaller, whiter group of people now. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, that's the thing that's always, <laughs> always about our stupid election system right. is that uh, our, our, is that we put these two states up front because they supposedly represent real America, except they don't represent an America that probably ever existed and certainly hasn't existed in the last, you know, 100, 150 years. Yeah. You know, if you want to really know what America, Americans think, you start in the cities. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. Well, best of luck to all of us. We love yeah. you. And uh, I can't even imagine where you can find a ring big enough for you. So I appreciate you. Uh, Oh, thank you, yeah. thank you. Slapping I, that sucker I, I, on and joining us. I will us. gladly share the ring with you anytime. My, oh. My, my, my. oh, you oh, are the lord gracious. of the rings. That's how I think of you. <laughs> All right, goodbye, Rudy. You know what? I'm going to take the compliment and 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 uh, leave quietly. Okay. Good. All right. <laughs> bye, yes. bye. Hey, all. Glenn Kirshner here. I hope you'll join me on my new audio podcast, Justice Matters. I'll be using my 30 years as a federal prosecutor and Army JAG to unpack, break down, and explain the legal issues of the day, particularly where the legal intersects with the political. Please look for Justice Matters with Glenn Kirshner wherever you generally get your podcasts.